Hi there, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I have my wonderful Starbucks pumpkin spice coffee. I've been drinking it all season long. Absolutely love it. It gets a very grungy cup there. But anyway, I am so excited to be here with you because I'm going to show you my 2020 drugstore makeup faves. And I haven't done a lot of makeup videos lately. And quite honestly, I have been missing them. And I've really even been missing doing the tutorials. And so I think in the new year, I'll do a few more of those because I have to admit, skincare is good and I love skincare. And I love skincare. That's the word I'm looking for. But I also really do love makeup. And uh, I'm very excited to show you these picks because these are my drugstore value priced cosmetics. And I love a bargain. And some of the things in the drugstore arena, I am not sure can equal high end, but just very few. Mostly there are great products at all price levels, including drugstore. And I'm going to be showing you my 2020 drugstore faves. Okay, first I'll show you my foundation. And this is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Foundation. To me, it looks extremely skin-like and I'd gone away from it for a while. I don't know why, I just started using some other things. And I went back to it and I really, really like it. Look how skin-like that looks and it applies absolutely beautifully, streak-free, lasts all day, a little bit of a matte finish, but with a little bit of a glow to it. And I wear it in the color 40 Nude. This is a fabulous foundation if you're looking for something that really does look very natural, like healthy skin, like the name implies. Now, I have worn this for the last about year and a half and I absolutely love it. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer. I used to use Tarte Shape Tape and it cost a fortune. This is much less expensive and I think it covers up everything that the Tarte Shape Tape did. And it does not emphasize fine lines and wrinkles. It lasts all day long. And I have these veins under my eyes that need to be covered and it covers those just beautifully. This Milani Conceal and Perfect, I don't think it can be beat at any price. Now, I'll go through this fast because every YouTuber loves this. But this is the Milani Eyeshadow Primer, and that is what I have on my eyes today. You know, it doesn't matter what brand of eyeshadow you're wearing pretty much as long as you have a good primer to make it adhere and stick. I love this primer because it makes the colors look richer and darker, and it really does help the eyeshadow to last all day. If you're looking for something to keep your eyeshadow in place, this is a great one. And I'm going through these quickly because I realized that I have a ton of them and I don't want to make this a super long video. Okay, another thing that I have under my eyes is this Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. And here it is. And I love this. It's just a little yellow powder and that is what I set my under eye concealer with. Oh, there is the phone going off. But I also do want to show you how this works. So I'll be right back. Okay, I went ahead and turned off my phone. It is Friday afternoon and I get a lot of phone calls because I always hear the work phones on my cell and other girls answer them, so I'm okay. But anyway, this is that Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder and all you do is you just put it under your eyes and look how that brightened up the under eye area compared with the other side. So now I'll do it on this side. And it just gives you a little bit of emphasis on your eyes, brightens up any dark circles, just gives you a little bit of added punch to your eye makeup. And at any price, I've never found a banana powder that I like as well as this one. Now, I will not show you this powder because I have my makeup on, but for a drugstore loose powder, I absolutely love this L'Oreal Hydra Perfect. And it says perfecting loose powder. And that is actually what it does. It kind of perfects your face, takes away any of the last minute shine you have. And I am oily, so this really does help me. And it sets your makeup and helps it last for a long time. And this is in the 916 Translucent. And when in doubt, always buy Translucent. And there it is. You can't really tell much about it. It's just a little loose powder. And I don't think it's any better than some of my high-end powders, but I really think if you're looking for a drugstore price in a great loose powder, this L'Oreal Hydra Perfect is just beautiful. Now, let's get into blush. And I absolutely love blushes, and I know you do too. It's kind of that extra jewel tone to add to your face. You know, your face can look kind of blah, and you can look a little tired. You add a little blush, and all of a sudden, it's like va-va-boom. And that is what I love. And amazingly i realized well i was using a lot this flower beauty flower pot blush or 
Flower Pots blush in the color Sweet Pea. This is absolutely beautiful. I wore this a lot in the first half of the year. You can tell I've worn it down. But isn't that just a lovely, lovely little pink color? Very pretty blush. And the other three blushes that I wear that are drugstore are Milani. You cannot beat Milani blushes. They are wonderful. And this one, I have broken the lid and I have worn it down. I've used it so much. But it is called Dolce Pink. And here it is. Isn't that a beautiful color? And see that little bit of iridescence in there? Absolutely beautiful. I think I might go ahead and add this on top of what I have in just a minute. I don't want to ruin my makeup. Another one I've really been loving is this Milani Blossom Time Rose. And it is not quite as shimmery or iridescent as the other one, but there is that Blossom Time Rose. Just a very, very pretty peachy pink color. And the one that I've been grabbing for the most is this Milani Trio, and it is called the Rose Powder Blush Trio. And it says Milani or Flowers of Love. And here it is. And this is actually what I have on my cheeks now. Look at that. A little blushy highlighter color. And then a medium tone, kind of a corally color. Get a little more of the, the highlighter color there. And then this is this darker. And what I do is I just take my brush and I swirl it all together and put it on my face. I think that is absolutely beautiful. But I think to do a little accent, I'll go in with one that I just showed you, which is the Dolce Pink, and I do need to go get a blush brush. Okay, sorry, I, I really forgot to get prepared here, I guess. I didn't realize I'd put all this stuff on, quite honestly, but I just dip it in there, and then I try to keep it on the top of my cheekbones because everything about our cheeks and our mid-face goes south as we get to be a little more mature. <laughs> or grown up, or wise, I think, as Dr. Dre calls it. Oh my, isn't that just beautiful? Now, I hope I haven't overdone that. I'm very guilty of having my makeup totally done and then adding more when I get out here. And then I watch it on the video and I'm like, ah, why did I do that? But I think that is super, super pretty. And again, that is that Dolce Pink. And I used it so much that it is broken. I have a ton of these Milani blushes and it's almost hard to pick a favorite but lately I've been liking the, the, the pink iridescence of that Dolce Pink. Very, very pretty. Okay, let's go into a different brand. And I realized after I pulled together the products that I really use, which is these are the products that I really use from the drugstore, I realized it was primarily two different brands. Milani is everywhere throughout this, I realized. I do love that brand. If I had to choose one drugstore brand, it would be Milani. But I have been loving this Profusion Cosmetics brand, which is a Walmart brand. Well, I don't know that it's a Walmart brand, but you can get them a lot at Walmart and on Amazon. And this is the Profusion Cosmetics Highlight and Contour Palette. And look at that beautiful set of contour and highlight. I don't know if you can see this, but this is actually just a very natural looking brown color. It is what I have underneath my cheekbones and on the sides of my nose. It, it's, it's a little bit darker than what you're seeing there on the screen in real life, but it is a very, very natural, soft brown. Love that. That's a little more for you if you have a darker skin tone. But look at these absolutely gorgeous highlighters. Aren't those pretty? Oh, look at the shimmer in there. Absolutely beautiful. And Profusion is an amazing brand. And I think it is one of the best brands out there. It doesn't matter high end or low end. This Profusion brand is fabulous, and I love that highlight and contour palette, and I think it's $4.99. It's just crazy. Okay, let's get a little bit into brows, and I have been loving this new brow product I found, and actually, I didn't find it. I saw Risa Who Does Makeup listed it in one of her drugstore faves videos, and it is the Maybelline Brow Extensions product. Performance Crayon? I'm not sure. I can't... No, Fiber. Fiber... Fiber something crayon, I'm sorry. My eyes are not what they used to be. But anyway, this is a very unusual product for your brows because it has little tiny fibers in it. And you probably can't see that back there. In fact, I know you can't. But there it is in the color blonde, which is what I use. But if I look at it here, it just looks like it has hundreds of little fibers sticking up. And I won't put this one on, but basically you just use it to, actually I've got a little gray showing there. You just use it to to color your brows dark and to add fibers in areas where you don't. 
and it actually feels a little bit like like hairspray on your brows because it does keep them nice and firm it keeps them in place but I absolutely love this and as you can tell by how my brows sometimes look I don't spend much time on my brows at all I don't have the greatest brows I don't have a lot of arch but this product is a way that within 30 seconds I can give myself some really better looking brows especially on the tails these are drawn in for the most part using this product but also this is great if you have gray to cover and I certainly do so I love this product now let's get into some eyeshadows and I was talking earlier that I think drugstore has some fabulous products in most areas and I think unfortunately that eyeshadows is where the drugstore area falls down a bit I like Too Faced shadows very much I like Tarte shadows very much but in drugstore I really haven't found that much I love except for two different items well the first really isn't an item again it's the Profusion brand and I have several of these different palettes um, this is the Nude Bliss palette and I think this one is like ten dollars but look at the colors in that look at a hair there they are absolutely beautiful you have a lot of neutrals here you've got some shimmery looking things which are not as bad as you would think well I guess that is pretty pretty shimmery and actually that's what I like about this palette too oh my that one is super shimmery look at that very very shimmery but most of these are mattes and I do like a little bit of shimmer on my eyes absolutely a beautiful palette and these profusion shadows are crazy amazing and I think Emily Noel mentioned them in her Emily Awards video the profusion shadows and I have many of these palettes most of them are five dollars a little smaller than this some of them are ten and unfortunately one thing I don't like about them is my absolute favorite profusion palette I won't bring out here because I don't think they make it anymore and I just got it like maybe six months ago but anyway I absolutely love this nude bliss palette I think it is super wearable super usable on a daily basis and it's also got some of those blingy shimmers which I think you'd really enjoy now the only other eyeshadow palette from the drugstore that I've really been using and enjoying is this Milani pure passion and I'm sorry it is such a mess you can tell I I use it but anyway here it is and actually it is what I have on my eyes right now and first you get a mirror which I will not I will not blind you with that but look at those gorgeous shadows look at those very wearable colors and again it has a beautiful lid shimmer which I love that look look how pigmented that is absolutely beautiful here is a great brow color which I have on my brows right now and actually in my crease I have this little brown color right here and then I've gone in for a little more bling with this color which I think is absolutely gorgeous look at this I mean look at that that is a pigmented and a shimmery little kind of a burgundy copper color absolutely love that and I figured since I have a red sweater on that that little bit of burgundy would look good and I think it really really does this is a great eyeshadow palette I would say in terms of wearability in terms of the shadows staying on the profusion is probably a little better than the Milani but these colors are beautiful you have to work a little harder to get them exactly the way you want them but they are highly pigmented and they do tend to stay all day which is great now I have a drugstore eyeliner brand which I love and of course it is Milani again and this is the Milani stay put eyeliner in femme fatale and it is what I have on now and here it is it has a little self sharpening point although it does not stay that sharp but this is kind of a blue black color maybe a navyish blue black and I love that color and I figured since I was doing the kind of red eyeshadows a little bit of drama would be nice but this is the eyeliner color that I wear most days and this is the same brand Milani stay put eyeliner in semi sweet which is a brown and so for the day I generally like brown liners so there is a look at that pretty brown color it's just a nice very dark espresso type brown black color very very pretty color and, and you can see how that eyeliner looks on the eye these pencils just glide on very easily and effortlessly and they tend to last all day which is wonderful absolutely love these Milani stay put eyeliners now for drugstore mascaras I have two that I go back to and they're good and so it's like I really have used these for several years really like them 
If I want a natural looking mascara, I like this CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume and I wear it in the color black, I think. I think it's black, I'm sorry, I can't see that. Or brownish black, one or the other. But it has a very nice looking big head on it. Big, big brush there. And it, it has a lot of spikes on it, which tends to keep your lashes very separated. And so to me, this is a great mascara if you want long and defined separated lashes that look very natural. That is not what I have on right now, because most of the time I go for glam. And if you want glam from the drugstore, there is nothing better than the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. And everybody always says to get it in the waterproof. And I do not wear it in the waterproof because it is almost impossible to get off. But this is what I have on now. And it is the Lash Paradise. I really like this because it really pumps up the volume on your mascara. It tends to help you keep a curl all day. I have no problems when I'm wearing this. And because this is a little more glam, it is a little more likely to clump, but generally it does not do that. But look at that great brush. There's something about that brush where it kind of goes in and out and kind of divots in the middle that I really do like that brush because I think it gets between the lashes, on top of the lashes, under the lashes, and really just coats them, which I think is what gives your lashes that beautiful volume look. Absolutely love this. This is almost a classic now. Okay, we've almost made it all the way through. And my favorite is lip products. And I'll show you what I've been wearing most of the time lately. In fact, this is my second tube of this. This is the Maybelline Color Sensational in Pink For Me, 376 Pink For Me. Because for about the last year and a half, all I was wearing is nudes. And I realized that I kind of like my lips having some color, so I went to more of a darker nude. And I almost think this is a dark nude. There it is, it's kind of a rosy dark nude. They call it pink, but to me that looks more rose. And I'll show you how it looks. There that is, isn't that absolutely beautiful? And that is the color that I have on my lips and it feels so creamy. It lasts a very long time. Absolutely love this one. It's my total favorite right now. And the lip liner I have on is again a Milani product. And this is the Milani Understatement Lip Liner in the color French Rose. Very, very pretty. And I really like this because it has a sharpened tip, an automatic tip. And I'll show you how that lip liner looks right beside it. And see, it's just a little mini line, really. It's not a thick line. And I won't put this on. I'll just kind of show you. What I do is I put the lipstick on first and then just put the line on the outside. Because lately I've been not liking the idea of the drawn on lip line kind of looks 80s to me lately and I really just like the look of clean pretty lipstick kind of like oh she's got great lips and that isn't that a pretty lipstick and I think that these understatement lip liners do that because it's not a huge dramatic line it's just a little mini line kind of a thing so I like that and then the gloss that I'm using is the Milani keep it full gloss in soft rose and there is how that looks it has a nice big doe foot I'll just put a little more on here just in the middle. But isn't that pretty? It just takes whatever lip color you have and just pumps it up a notch, gives it a little bit of gloss, a little bit of gleam. I think that's absolutely beautiful. I'll show you that on my hand, but you can't really see. See, it's just a little bit of a rosy gloss, but I think that is so pretty. Now I'll show you another combination that I'm really enjoying. And there are two lipsticks that I'm wearing a lot of, and the first I've worn for years, and this is the Flower Beauty in Spiced Petal. And I love this because it looks like Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. It's a total dupe for that, and I'll show you how that looks on the back of my hand. There it is. Isn't that pretty? It has a little more of a coral color than the pink for me Maybelline there, but I absolutely love that. I'll give you a little bit more there. But I just think that is a beautiful, very universal color that anyone can wear. And I wear that a lot. And another lipstick that I'm wearing, another drugstore lipstick, is this. It is a Color Riche Lip Shine Lipstick in 904 Burnished Rosewood. And I'm realizing that I do kind of like the nudes with a little bit of rose. And I'll draw that on there for you. And I think this is my second tube of that because I just love that. Isn't that beautiful? It's got a little more of a brown rose to it. 
but it is very soft on your lips. It's very moisturizing and it gives you some shine, which is very, very nice. And for a lip liner there, I'm again using the Milani Understatement Lip Liner, but this is in the color Nude Entrance. And I have found that this is super versatile with a lot of different lipsticks. Works great with about any nude. I'll go ahead and draw it on here. There it is. There's the Nude Entrance Milani Understatement Lip Liner there. Aren't those gorgeous colors? I really do tend to like the middle, middle range nudes with some rose and some brown. So I use that with that. And then as a lip gloss over those colors, which are a little more nude colors, I would say. Again, it's the Milani Keep It Full Lip Gloss, and this is in the color Natural Luster. And I won't put this on, but it is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, there's all that. So I'll just go ahead, I'll just put it right down here, kind of under those lipsticks that I wear it with. But isn't that pretty? It's just an iridescent shimmer and I love the way this product, these Keep It Full uh, lip products from Milani, just really make your lips look. They just plump up the volume on your lips, especially if you just use them in the center. Absolutely beautiful. Just makes you look that much more special. Okay, that was a look at my 2020 drugstore faves, and I love them all. Sitting here looking at them, it's like, oh, I wish I had more faces to put them on. That was a dumb thing to say. But anyway, I just really do love all of these products and you can't go wrong with them. And you know what's so funny, this morning I had a few extra minutes at work and I started looking up the products that I like and almost all of them were four and a half stars. So somehow I have chosen products that a lot, lot, lot of people love and I think you might like many of them too. And you can learn about them and see how much they cost and all that in the description box below the video. And if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in looking your best at 40, 50, 60 and beyond, then I hope you'll subscribe and or click that little bell and or share this video with a friend. A lot of and ors. Okay, let me get this stuff off my hands first. It is everywhere. Well, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day and Christmas is coming soon. So let's hopefully get something that's positive about the holidays. You may be seeing this after the holidays though. Okay, here we go. When I've overshared, I simply say, wait, why am I talking? When I've overshared, I simply say, wait, why am I talking? Oh friends, this so much applies to me because sometimes my mouth goes a lot faster than my brain does and I really need to slow down and think. And you know, this card reminds me of my father-in-law who, who passed earlier in the year. Many of you saw some videos that I did where I mentioned my father-in-law, Don, who's a re retired pastor. He was almost 90 and got cancer for the second time and he did not make it through that. We really miss him a lot. But one thing about Don is you would ask him a question and he would pause. Sometimes he would pause for a long time and sometimes it would get a little irritating, quite honestly, but he was pausing because he wanted to make sure that what he said was absolutely true and that he gave your question the weight and the concentration that it deserves. And it kind of made you feel special that he did that. And so in a way I learned from Don somewhat, although I'm still not very good at it, when someone asks me something or makes a comment, I just give it a pause and try to think before I speak. And sometimes I'm not able to do that. So friends, just for today, let's remember that if we overshared, let's just kind of stop put a halt on it and say, why am I talking? And perhaps shut up. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.